Hello Goenkans, I hope you are doing good. We were going through chapter number 1, Crop Production and Management and page number 1. We were done with the definition of agriculture, the specialized branches of agriculture. Our next topic is Methods of Crop Production. Methods of crop production involve different steps. But nowadays, we don't go for the conventional methods. We have adopted some modern methods of agriculture. Fine. And they require knowledge of nature of the soil, the nutrients it contains. We need to know about the deficiency. If there are a few deficiencies in the soil, we can accordingly add manures, fertilizers to it. We can improve on these methods like we can improve on plowing, sowing, irrigation. We can go for a pest, proper pest control. Biological control is there. Chemicals we can add, etc. And if we have to obtain a better yield for that we need to go through the following steps the steps are preparation of soil which includes plowing leveling then second step is manuring which involves manures and fertilizers third is sowing which involves broadcasting traditional tools seed drill transplantation Fourth step of crop production is irrigation and the two steps of irrigation are traditional methods, modern methods, fine. Then crop protection, weeding is there, pest control is there. After that we have harvesting. In harvesting there is threshing, there is winnowing and the last step is storage and distribution. Let's take preparation of soil. Preparation of soil is the process by which the soil is made suitable for sowing of seeds. This involves the steps like plowing. Plowing is also called tilling. Plowing is the process of loosening and turning the soil for better percolation of water and air. It is done with the help of a plow driven by a tractor or by animals. Fine. So water will ooze if uh, the soil is plowed well. Then only it will filter, it will seep into the soil. When the soil is properly plowed, is, it is loose. Fine. The advantages of plowing are loose soil allows roots to grow deep into the soil and support plants. Fine. Second is plowing aerates the soil. This allows the roots to breathe easily. Uh, when we plow soil, then only we can introduce air into it. Then plowing also brings the nutrient-rich soil to the top so that plants can use these nutrients. Manures and fertilizers mix better with plowed soil. Loosened soil helps in the growth of earthworms and microbes present in soil, which increases the fertility of the soil. Then, loose soil helps sunlight to reach the deeper layers of soil and kill harmful microbes. Thank you. Thank you, Goenkans.